Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 12th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about operator precedence in Python and uh, let's just have a look at an expression. So let's say you want to add two numbers uh, 5 and 4 and then you want to multiply the result of this with the, the number 2. right? So this is the expression that you would frame like 5 you add 4 to it then you multiply the thing with 2 and uh, what is the result that we should get so 5 plus 4 is 9 and then 9 times 2 is uh, 18 so that's what we should get right when i press the enter key i get 13 as a result instead and why has this happened it has happened because the multiplication operator enjoys a higher precedence than the addition operator right so what happened instead was 4 was multiplied to 2 before 4 was added to 5 right so 4 times 2 is 8 and then 8 was added to 5 to get 13. We were expecting it to return 18. We got 13 as the answer instead, right? So this is how operator precedence can ruin your life. And uh, it's, it's you know, if you guys are wondering, okay, how are we going to know? You know, there are so many operators that we've checked out, you know, all the arithmetic operators and then comparison operators and then logical bitwise and the membership identity and, you know, all of those. How are we going to know what stands where in the operator precedence chart? Then the answer to that is that you don't have to know. You know, it's not that you just need to know that. And I have worked with a lot of programming languages, but I have never cared to memorize the operator precedence chart. But then if you want to refer to it, then of course you can Google it up or you can go to Python's website and check it out there. Or you can refer to the documentation that comes along with your interpreter. You can do all those things. But then, you know, I have um, a way through which you can, you know, ignore knowing the operator precedence chart. And that is, you know, through the use of parentheses. So let's say if in the above expression, you wanted to add five and four first and then multiply the result with two, you could simply enclose five and four within parentheses and then, you know, have the same thing after that. When I press the enter key now, what Python does is it figures out, okay, since these two are in parentheses, I have to perform the addition operation first. So it does that and then it multiplies the result with two. So, you know, this is how parentheses can be so convenient and uh, if you guys are wondering okay you know if i do this then maybe my program is going to get slow my script is not going to execute as fast but that's not true you know it's going to work at the same speed and it's not going to slow down your program the use of parentheses and uh, you know you can have parentheses to a level as deep as you want so you can nest parentheses within another other another set of parentheses and you know, you can do whatever you want to do as long as you keep a track of, you know, having the same set of opening parentheses and closing parentheses. So that can be a challenge, you know, matching the opening parentheses with the closing parentheses. But then I guess if you compare that with the, the complexity that you have to deal with, you know, with or without the knowledge of operator precedence, then, you know, I guess parentheses are still more convenient. So, you know, that's it for now. In the next tutorial, we are going to begin our discussion on uh, decision constructs in Python. And this is where uh, real programming in Python is, is going to begin and I'm excited about it. We're gonna check out the if statement and uh, I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial. Thank you so much and uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.